Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to show you how you can have more than one project window open in Unity to make dragging and dropping stuff really easy. Let's get into it. So, if you don't have an inspector, go up to Window, then go to General, then click on Inspector to spawn an inspector. Next, you're going to want to right click on the inspector text here and go to Add tab and then click on project. And we have now opened another project window so we can browse through our assets folder. Let's drag this down here so it's easier to use. And you can adjust the zoom so it has the same layout as your other one, or maybe you want to have it as a vertical list. But there's a problem. Let's say we go to our sprites folder and we click on a sprite. It's going to update this one as well, which makes dragging and dropping kind of awkward. However, there's a little trick you can do. What we're going to do is, I've got some sprites and I want to drag and drop them all into these 50 objects. And normally I'd click on an object, I'd then have to go to sprites, drag and drop onto there, drag and drop onto there, then click on another object, then adjust this, do this, do that. Like this is tedious and we can make it easier. So what we do is we click on the padlock here and regardless of what we do up here and click on, this won't get updated so we can always see the objects we want to drag stuff onto. And if we go to our sprites, let's also lock the project view here. So if we click on these, it doesn't change what this is. So now we're in a situation where we can now easily just drag and drop sprites into or whatever we want to drag and drop into other things in our assets folder or packages. And this is a really simple technique. I don't really know if I've worded it properly, but I think the demonstration here shows how useful this can be for setting stuff up. Obviously, if you can avoid putting yourself in this situation where you need to drag and drop a million things, in your assets folder, that's great, but sometimes it has to happen, especially if you're using scriptable objects. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.